Hey guys, I'm at Spectrum Aesthetics in Miami, Florida. I'm here to get 360 lipo and some lipo on the chin. Um, couldn't record us really talking. I'm here for Dr. De Jesus, but I got a little bit of the pre-op office and here I go. Alrighty guys, um, I'm super swollen. I am only like two weeks post-op. I've just made it home, um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do foam boards today. Um, we will have a t-shirt under. Um, I always do this for protection of the shoulders, and right now everything is still bruised, so I want to keep everything as secure and safe as possible with not being too uncomfortable. Um, make sure you have a foam in the back, one in the front. And now we're going to do the ones on the side. Um, on the ones on the side, let's do a little bit of separation between them because when you bring up the faja and when you tighten up the straps and you buckle in and you zip up, it will have, it will come together. So you don't want them to overlap. So give them a little bit of space in between so that they will have, you know, enough room for when you do pull up your faja. Because once they overlap, it is so uncomfortable and you got to redo it all over again. So you want to learn how to do it right the first time. Alrighty, so as you can see on the two sides, um, my foams are a little bit higher. I am bruised on the side of my breast. Um, I got 360 lipo, so they're a little bit bruised on the sides. So I do have the foams coming up a little bit higher for the comfort. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to just press it all together. Um, Things are overlapping, as you can see. This one is just a zipper, um, and it has one clasp at the top. This is also the faja that I was given by my doctors, so I will be out of this pretty soon. Um, it's really baggy. It's got a lot of room for the foams, which is great for the first mm, month. But as you see, I have to readjust the foams because as you zip up, the more they overlap. So you want to give them a little bit of space before you zip up so that you don't run into the problem of constantly readjusting. Um, as you can see, how it's just coming together. You just have to put the space and the size of the foam boards into consideration and you'll be good. So all I'm doing is zipping up, pulling down, adjusting, this process is not a short one, I promise you that one. You will be readjusting and re-setting yourself over and over again throughout the day. I mean, it is intense. Alrighty, the last zip up and we are all done. Looking bulky and compressed the way things should be. Um, everything is looking good. This is how it should look in the front. Now, here's the back. Do not follow my instructions. There's a little, little crooked, but you can do better than that. Alrighty, here is my stage two. Um, I am so glad to be out of the foams and the stage one. Um, this has a built-in bra, but I'm going to give you guys a closer look because I just feel like this is not doing any justice. And here you go. 
this is a more closer look. Uh, there's a built-in bra that has the buttons in the front. The bra does not completely come off. There's these awesome wire metal things in the front and the back that make it so much more of a silhouette, you see? Um, and the, the butt part is just a silk, nice, smooth material. Alrighty, so this is my last Faja. This is my stage three. Um, this one just doesn't have a built-in bra. I put a sports bra on top of it, and it also has the wire compression that I was telling you guys about in the second stage one. Um, be careful, they do leave indents, but they do give you more of a snatched feel. Um, so, but this is all.